Shane, how much trouble is Pascal Donoghue in, do you think? Well, I think I think he probably come out today with a very full explanation for what happened. And I think uh, what's what's wrong here is, of course, that it, that, that, that if we're discussing it at all today, he should have put it to bed last last weekend. I think politically, he's probably not in as much trouble as we got the impression because he's indispensable to the to this government because of his ability and his performance and because uh, of, of of what he has done. But uh, what what we see here is is one of a long series of of I suppose. Uh, of, 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 of inadequate dec- declarations and ethics Go, Going back to 2017 uh, for in the case of Pascal Donu when he was first asked about this story and, and pretty much said nothing to see here. Yeah, he failed to act in 2017 and that's obviously something which he's going to have to answer for today and I think what, what, what we saw was an absolute mess made of it last week because Everybody else normally comes before the dawn and answers questions, and he decided he decided not to do that, and that was very very unwise indeed. I don't think we see we're seeing some you know we're not seeing a breach along, uh, uh, of, of an enormous scale, and we're seeing someone who is most the least likely probably member of the cabinet to be in in such of a mess, who's got a reputation for great ability and a rightful reputation for great ability, and he's somebody who Fine Gael and the country probably needs. So I think he'll he'll come through it today but he is he is damaged because he behaved in such an uncharacteristically uh cavalier way to something which people regard as very serious but proportionately i don't think that he's in trouble he's been stood you know michael martin eamon ryan uh and leo Varadkar have all stood behind him and that, that pretty well guarantees his success does it even effect. i mean even if there were and look we are speculating here we don't know what yeah. pascal dunne is going to say but were he to say for example that actually there were issues around his 2020 uh, expenses. I mean, you could have said up to now there was a yellow card offence for, for Pascal Donu. I mean, if there's a second yellow card, that's a red. Well, I think he signalled he signalled that there's a an issue about the 2020 election expenses, but all the signals that we're getting are is that it's pretty it's pretty minor, like the first one, and, and one is probably dependent upon the other one, probably follows the other but one. Shane, I don't think, you no, say I don't it, like you say it's minor, and many of our listeners will absolutely agree with you. And we've had loads mm. of people texting and saying that. We've also had loads of people saying, you know, rules are rules, and do, and while nobody thinks Pascal Donoghue is dishonest, those rules were brought in to prevent the kind of stuff that went on in the past. And if we're cavalier about adhering to those rules, well, then the rules may not may as well not be there. Oh, no, of course he should have adhered to the rules. And, of course, there ought to be some sort of a penalty for any TD who doesn't adhere to these rules. That's why they're there. But if it's on a minor scale, obviously, it's, it's, it, it would be absolutely absurd if it's as minor as it appears to be, which is a sin of omission. Uh, and we're talking about money of maybe less than a thousand euros. Uh, it would be absurd to be looking for his head when he's such a pivotal figure in the government. Uh, what, what, what we need is absolute clarity today, an apology he's already given, and to get, and to get on. If something this is last chance major, saloon for him, isn't it? Really, sorry? Doug? This is last chance saloon for him to clear, to well, clear the decks, got, isn't it? T- oh, yeah. Today he's got to come out and he's got to say, this is exactly what I, uh, happened. I'm sorry. I should have, I should have come f- before you for questioning last week. Uh, it is a it is a, a a minor sin, and I shouldn't I shouldn't have done it, uh, and then be allowed to get on with the job because we've got it. You've got it. You've got to look at what he's done. I mean, it's it's <laughs> you've got a man in England who's you're talking about millions. Uh, you yeah, know, yeah. Well, look, uh, I, yeah, absolutely. And, and look, I think we we know Pascal done his CV, and we know it's an, impre- an impressive CV, and he's done the state some service. Just very finely though, one of the other points I've seen made by you know very reasonable uh, commentators who aren't screaming for Pascal Donahue's head, they're talking about the kind of uh, chumminess and friendliness there between business. Uh, and and politics, it, perception wise, does a relationship, however benign it is, and there's no suggestion of any wrongdoing, but does the relationship with a with a businessman? I mean, is that good for politics? I think it's all right if the if we know about it. I think it's all right. You know, all politicians appear to get contributions from all sorts of areas uh, and from all sorts and from businessmen who are very reputable. And businessmen have, of course, got a right as have trades unions, everybody, to contribute to politics and to contribute to those who believe in what they believe in. What is what is at stake here is that if if politicians hide things, if politicians don't tell things or don't tell things 
immediately when 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 they ought to be disclosing them or someone's found out things something which the, which the public didn't know or they hadn't declared already they've got to say yeah i got so much money from so and so and so and so that's what this ethics legislation is about and if they get a lot of money from a businessman they must put it up front the, the here we, the the sin here was the sin of omission that's why it's really important what he does here today uh what people do recognize is and I, I I was in cabinet with and I, maybe I should say this because it was my experience in cabinet with Pascal Daniel. He was undoubtedly the finest and most competent minister. He was not a plotter. He didn't go around uh, you know concealing things or plotting pl plotting political you know coups against people. He just got on with his work and he was okay. very competent. And that's why it's so unlikely Shame. for him to be in this position of actually having overlooked something. Minor, right. But he's got to come out today and 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 put it to bed.